Hey guys, my name's Ben and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you today how to rank your Wix website on Google using their really awesome Wix SEO tool. SEO is kind of like road signs, road markings and roads which lead to your shop or your website. If you take away the road signs, the roads and the road markings, then no one's going to know about your website or your shop and they're not really going to know how to get there. So it's really important that you optimize your website to ensure that you get on Google and start ranking higher because Google is actually the biggest search engine in the world. And that means that most people are going to be on there looking for products and potentially your website. Now, even if you're a complete beginner, don't worry. Today's video is going to be really simple and straightforward to follow along with. So you're going to be OK. I'm going to take you through this step by step process so that we can get your website optimized. The video today has kindly been sponsored by Wix.com. They are probably the best professional website builder currently online. They've got over 500 customizable templates, which you can just edit simply using their straightforward drag and drop editor. Now, just before we jump into this, the very first step that you need to take is to, of course, make sure you've got a Wix website. So my advice to you, I highly recommend is to go and click the link in the description that will take you straight there and you can then create and craft your website. And if you're thinking, I don't know how to create a website, Ben, how am I going to do this? The good news is I've actually created a video showing you how to do this in less than 30 minutes. So you can watch that by clicking the card showing at the top of the video right now. OK, here we go. We're on the Wix dashboard section of the website, and this is where we need to go to find marketing and SEO. So we're going to click on that, and this is going to open up the section that we're going to be looking at today. Now, one of the most important things when you're optimizing your website is to think about getting it out there on the search engine. The biggest search engine out there is Google. And you actually have a certain area here which says get found on Google. So this is what we're really going to be focusing on today, getting your website optimized so that you can get found on Google. And then you can start ranking higher and getting more viewers, visitors and hopefully sales. So we're just going to click on get found on Google. Now, your section may look slightly different to mine, but it's going to be the exactly same information here that you'll need to add in. So first up, you should see general info and it will say a business or site name. You're going to need to add that in and then click go. The next section which is going to show up is going to ask you if your business or your website, should I say, is a local website. So it's one in a local area where you're going to get most of your custom there. Or alternatively, you can click no, which is basically telling Wix that you're actually going to be an online website. So you're going to be a blog or an e-commerce website or a portfolio or photography, whatever it is, you're just online. And it's important to click the right option for yourself. So make sure you click the right option for your website here. Next, you're going to see keywords. This is really important. Now, I've already added mine in. What this is, is this area of your site is going to be where Google will come in and it will really look at your website and decide what it is, what information you're going to be providing on Google. And really, it's going to decide where to put your website all based on these three keywords. So it's really important to get the right keywords here. Now, I highly recommend that you go and check out something like Google Keyword Planner. This will help you get the right keywords based on your website. And this is something which is really important to do, like I said, so don't skip on that. Now, I've actually chose my three keywords here, photography courses, Lightroom presets and photography. Now, why have I chose these three? Because my website is all about photography. I sell photography courses, so here we go, and also I sell Lightroom presets. I'm just going to click my region here, which I didn't add in. I'm just going to put England, UK, and then I'm going to click Save. Okay, 
So now we're going to find ourselves in the really important bit, which is to go through the step-by-step -step process to start getting our website showing up on Google and ranking better. Now, what I love about this is you actually have the steps to go through. It's been laid out really simply so that if you're a complete beginner, you can really just follow along quite comfortably and know where you're going and not get lost. So we're going to start with the first step here, which is to set the home page's title for search results. I'm going to click go for it. Now, what it does is it actually gives you uh, some guidelines here. It gives you a recommended title, which you can use if you want to. So here it says Lightroom presets. So I'm going to click copy on this because I think that that's a good recommendation by Wix. And then it gives you an arrow telling you where to add it. So at this point, you've got to go to the editor to add this in to your website. Now, this is really easy to do. It gives you a link to go to the editor here. And then you've just got to go ahead and add it into the right part on your editor. OK, so we're going to go to menu and pages here. Then we're going to go to site menu and then you can see the pages that I've got on my site and then I'm going to choose home. And finally, SEO Google. All we need to do now is we need to make the changes here. So at the moment, we've just got home Ben's guide. So we want to change that. So I'm just going to come down here. Click on this and then press control V because I've copied it. And now I've got Lightroom presets Ben's guide and it's as simple as that. So when you've done that, you want to go ahead and click save up here. Make sure you save it because then this is going to save it on your website. And when you've saved it, you can then just head back into the dashboard and go to step two. If you want to, you can press refresh and then it's also going to show you that it's done as well. There you go. Press refresh. We've got a tick, which means that we've done that correct. The next step is to add the home page's description for search results. Another very important part of SEO is to add in a description which is relevant to the keywords that you've added to start with. So if we click go for it, it's going to explain to us here what we need to do. So we need to include at least one of your keywords, one of the three keywords at the start. Include your business or site name and keep the text between 50 to 300 characters. OK, great. So once again, we're just going to head over to editor and then we're going to change this inside the editor. Now, we've already got this opened up here, so we just want to make sure that we go to the description instead of the title. So here we've got the title, which we changed, and then we're just going to scroll down to the description. Here we go. So now we just want to add in some text with the guidelines that were just provided. So what am I going to put? Not on the spot at all here, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the text. OK, so you can see that I've used my business name. That's the one thing that they asked for. You can see that I've used uh, one of my keywords, photography, and I've actually used another one of my main keywords at the end as well, which is Lightroom presets. So that should be pretty relevant. So I've done what they've asked me to do. Now I've just got to go and click save again. That's saved. Brilliant. And then we just want to go to the dashboard once again and then just press refresh. And if we've done it correctly, we're going to get that nice big green tick show up and there it is fantastic so it's saying now that i've actually done some of the other steps so the home page is visible in search results and the site is mobile friendly now this is a very important step that you need to get right making the so the site sorry mobile friendly why is this so important because you now have 60% of people on the internet are using their mobile phone to search for websites, 60%.
The other 40% are computers. So if you're actually not optimized for a mobile phone, you're missing out on a massive chunk of potential customers for your websites. You've got to make sure it's mobile friendly. How do you do that? You're probably wondering. Well, the good news is it kind of happens in the process of building your website. So when you're actually designing your Wix website, they are really good because inside the editor, if we just go here, click this off, you will see that you've got these little options at the top, desktop and switch to mobile. So while you're designing your website, which you probably already know about, but I'm just going through this with the people which haven't done this yet, you're actually also designing your mobile website. And Wix makes sure that it's mobile friendly and that is super important. So really that should be ticked anyway when you're going through the options and you shouldn't really have to do anything about it. So if we go back to the dashboard, the next thing to do is site is connected to a domain. Now I've already added my website to a domain here, but if you haven't done that in the process, you just want to go through this and make sure that your domain is connected. Now this is really easy to do because Google and Wix are kind of connected already. So it's not a difficult process. It's something you can do nice and easy. The next step is to make sure you connect to Google to Google, sorry, Search Console. And the reason this is so important is because we've mentioned Google is the biggest search engine and has the most visitors. Step two, optimize your site pages for search engines. Now, this is not something which I'm gonna go through every single step of this here, because if you've got multiple pages on your website, this could take a while, but it's definitely worth doing because this will make the difference between having a website that no one knows about and a website that potentially lots of people know about. So you've just got to go through your pages and you've got to make sure that they are optimized. You've got to do the pages title, you've got to do the description and also the text just like you've done um, with the home page here. So it's just going through that process with each page on your website. And of course, make sure you click view more, otherwise you won't see the rest of your pages on there. Step three is very important. You see, SEO doesn't just stop there. It's something that you need to continue to do. Now, don't worry. It's not something you need to do every single day and constantly be worrying about, but it is something you need to keep on top of. You do have a guide, an SEO guide, which Wix has provided you with which is something that you can follow and keep up to date with. I will say though, that if you're someone that doesn't have the time, maybe, maybe you're someone that doesn't want to think about SEO past this initial setup process, you do have the option to hire a Wix SEO partner. And that is actually really useful for some people which have the availability to do that. We've now gone through get found on Google. This is probably the most important part of SEO on your website. Getting found on the biggest search engine out there is super important and ranking your website just by doing these few simple steps is really just the main thing that you need to focus on. You do have other things that you can do, of course. You've got SEO tools here, which you can go into and just like the main get found on Google area we've just looked at, each one of these is easy to follow. You can just go through and Wix kind of holds your hand through the process, making it easy if you're a beginner. You've got to do SEO, you've got to optimize your website, and there is no better place to do that than Wix. I really hope you've enjoyed this straightforward guide of how to optimize your Wix website and take care of the SEO. You should now know that it's actually really straightforward and very simple to do. And at the same time, it's very important. So it's something you really have to take care of. Now, remember, if you haven't yet created a Wix website and you've got to this point, watched all of this and you haven't done that yet, then you need to do that. Go ahead, click on the link in the description where you can go and create your beautiful Wix website right there. I wanna thank everyone for watching the video today and hopefully it's added some value and really helped you out if you were looking for this and whatever you do guys for the rest of the day. Make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.